So at this point, since I'm a curious person and I wonder like what's the strategy used for that load balancing, like is it round robin or I I'm going to do a little um, shell for loop to do a bunch of requests. So for i in sec 10, do that. So I do like 10 requests and I look at what happens. So it doesn't seem to be round robin because you see here I have one that is named like 5wbv6. I see it here and also here and also here and here again and here again. Like surprisingly half of my requests were handled by that backend. That's kind of weird. Let's, let's try again. And now, uh, 5wbv6 doesn't even appear. So it's clearly not run robin. Uh, it doesn't seem to be a really fair load balancing. So what exactly is used? Well, let's dive in and let's see how does my, um, traffic, how do my connections, uh, go from this IP address to my pods? So, um, I, I was telling you earlier, connections going there get intercepted and the destination IP address is written, they are intercepted by IP tables. So I'm going to run a few IP tables command to, to investigate. So I'm going to do IP tables um, dash L um, well, dash tnat dash L output and here I see um, uh, that all my traffic uh, gets sent to a, a subchain in IP tables called cube services and it say oh this is for Kubernetes service portals. Oh that looks interesting. Let's let's look into it. So if I look now in cube services, that's a lot of things. Um, but I'm going to single out that line here. It says any oh, oh and excuse me I'm going also to add like dash n so that it doesn't resolve uh, DNS, yeah, that's better. So this says any connection going to 10.105.93.204, so the, the cluster IP for HTTPM on port 8888. So any connection for that goes to the subchain cube SVC, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So all traffic matching this goes to that subchain. Let's have a look into that subchain to see what happens to the connections matching that. Here, let me, uh, mm, okay. Here I see 10 rules and, um, they are kind of unconditional rules in the sense that, okay, all connections will, will match that. There is just a statistic mode random probability applied here. Okay. So what does that mean in IP tables? It means here I have a probability of 0.1 to match that line. Uh, 0.1, that means 10%. That means one every 10 uh, connections is going to match that line and be sent to that subchain. Okay, what is that subchain? That subchain is a DNAT. That means rewrite destination IP address. And it rewrites the destination IP address to be 10.38.05. 10.38.05. Um, let me demonstrate. 10.38.05, uh, here, it's one of the pods for my HTTP env service. So this here means one every 10 connections at random uh, gets sent to that pod. Now what happens to the remaining nine connections? Well, they continue their, um, their, their travel on, on that IP tables chain. And the second line says, Probability of 0.1111111, which means uh, one every nine connection will match that second line and will be sent to that other subchain, which contains a DNAT rule to rewrite destination address to another pod. Then the remaining eight connections continue their, their travel on, on that chain here. Uh, so now I have um, probability 0.125, so that's one every eight connection. Uh, goes to that subchain, etc., etc., etc. So this is a, a a slightly convoluted way to just randomly uh, send the traffic across the backends, and that's why the um, my command here 
uh, there, there doesn't seem to be any logic because it's random. So if I were to do enough connections and do some statistics on that, I would see that, yeah, on average, I have like 10% of the traffic going there and 10% there and 10% there, etc., etc. But on a small sample like that, it's, it just appears to be random because it is random. So this is how um, in internal traffic uh, gets load balanced. So these, these IP table rules that I was showing you have been created by Cube Proxy. So what Cube Proxy is doing is that it's monitoring the services. It, it's doing the equivalent of a get service dash dash watch. And each time a new service appears, then it starts to monitor um, the, the pods corresponding to that service. And each time something changes, it's going to update IP tables rules um, so that my, my connections go to the right place.